From the stage of the Town Hall Theater in Glorious Mayhem, Massachusetts, it's the new Dibble Show, starring Jerry Robbins and Nick Allerud. Yes, it's time once again transcribed for the new Dibble Show with Jerry Robbins and Nick Allerud. Featuring Derek Allerud, Diane Cape, and Shane Clark, Sam Donato, Bill Hammond, Cynthia Pape, Rick Pierce, J.T. Turner, Joseph Zamparelli Jr., yours truly, Westbrook Ahern, music by Jeffrey Gage, and starring Dibble and the Mayhem Players. And now, here he is, taking the high road, when he should be taking the low road, that 15-watt star of the air, Dibble. Ah, laddie, and how are you tonight? Let me guess. What? They ran Brigadoon again on the movie station last night. No, why would you think that? The introduction about high roads and low roads and your horrible attempt at a Scottish accent just got me to thinking, that's all. Well, he didn't show Brigadoon, smarty pants. So, why the accent, smarty kilts? Hi, Dibble. Ah, hello, laddie. What? I think they showed Brigadoon last night on the movie station. Would you stop with the Brigadoon? Oh, I love that movie. Gene Kelly and the woman dancing in the heather on the hill. Jake. I always get nervous when I see that. I mean, what if Gene falls in a gopher hole or something? Jake! There can't be a gopher hole. They're on a fake movie set. Hi. It's fake? Oh, I didn't know that. Couldn't you tell? I just thought that color looked better over there in Scotland. Well, Technicolor always looked fake, but... Will you two guys just shut up so I can say something? Oh, sorry, Dibble. What were you saying? I don't remember now. You two went off on a tangent. Something about Scotland. No, nothing about Scotland. Well, maybe in an indirect way. Well, what? Well, I was thinking I need a hobby. Something I can escape to from the hurly-burly day-to-day grind of being a radio star. Oh, a hobby. Stamps? No. I'm going to join the Mayhem McCaddits pipe band. Not sure I heard you correctly. I am going to join the Mayhem McCaddits pipe band. Pipe band? As as in bagpipes? Yes! Isn't this exciting? But you don't know how to play bagpipes. I'm going to learn. And then I get a kilt and a big furry hat and I get to march in parades. Oh boy, I can't wait! I've seen the McCaddits on the 4th of July parade every year. They're good. And they're going to get even better now that I'm joining. But, well, do you play any instrument? No. Well, I... No. Aren't bagpipes difficult? To listen to. Westbrook! Well, where is it? Where's what? The bagpipe. What else? Well, I didn't get it yet. I just joined an hour ago. No. Where are you going to practice? Not here, I hope. At my house. And so what if I practice here? Why are you being so negative about it? I'm not. It's just that if it's an old building, and I'd be afraid of the plaster cracking more than normal. No, I don't want anyone to hear me until I'm ready. Now, if you could only apply that philosophy to the radio show, we'd be in business. Westbrook, I'm warning you. It just slipped out. Yeah, I'll bet. So how are you going to learn how to play them? Professor McCampbell is coming over to my house tomorrow, and he's going to give me lessons. I told him I was a good singer, and he said that that would help. My pitch is perfect. I didn't know you played baseball. Oh, you mean singing pitch. How silly of me to have gotten them mixed up. Westbrook, stop fooling around. This is serious. I'm going to be a remarkable piper. Has Professor McCampbell heard you play anything yet? No. Has he heard you sing yet? No, he's just going on my recommendation. He's in for a treat. Anyway, I hope you both come and watch the 4th of July parade this summer. It will be my big debut. As soon as I know the date, I'll let you know so you can mark it on your calendars. Yes, I never know when the 4th of July will be. It usually comes after the 3rd, but you never know. Hey, who ordered takeout? Not me. Not me. Not me. Rita, no one ordered any takeout. I know, but the only way I could get on the show was to bring something over. I didn't get a script this week, you know. I know, I have been very busy. Yeah, I heard. Heard what? You joined the Mayhem McHaddits? How did you hear that? Angus McPherson was at the diner for lunch today. He told me. Who's he? He's the pipe boss guy. Professor McCampbell, Angus McPherson. How did so many Scottish people suddenly pop up in mayhem? Anyway, he told me all about your joining, so I had to make you something special. What? I'm holding it. Lift the cloth off the top of the pan. Okay. Ta-da! Yuck! What the heck is that? It's to celebrate your joining the McHaddits. What is it? Haggis. What? Haggis. What's in it? Well, it's made from sheep's offal. Sheep's what? You take the windpipe, the lungs, heart, and liver of the sheep, and then you boil and mince it all up. Then you mix it with beef suet and lightly toasted oatmeal. Then the mixture is placed inside the sheep's stomach which is sewn closed. Then you cook it by further boiling it for three hours and hope it doesn't burst. (laughs) Then what? You ate it. You gotta be kidding! 
Diced windpipes, lungs, hearts, and livers? It's a delicacy, just like Mother used to make. Who's Mother? Hannibal the Cannibal? Get it out of here! You better eat it. It took me hours. And I also made you some coal cannons. What the heck is that, I'm afraid to ask? Oh, it's yummy. It's made from boiled cabbage, carrots, turnip, and potatoes. You mix them all together, then you drink it. I don't want to hear any more. Well, that is gratitude. This is a Scottish dish that goes back to hundreds of years. Well, give it to Mr. Bucky. He probably knew the guy who invented it. And you ain't in the show tonight, so get out of here. All right. I'll feed it to the birds. Yeah, I'm sure they'll love it. Now, where was I? Lessons. Oh, yeah. Well... Devil! Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, Grady, what do you want? I'm on the air, you know. I know. That's why I'm here. Well, you ain't in the play tonight because there isn't one. I have important things to do. I wanted to make sure you mentioned the policeman's ball to your listeners. The policeman's ball? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the annual policeman's ball will be held on April 10th. How can you have a policeman's ball? You're the only policeman in mayhem. I know. And boy, by the end of the night, I can hardly stand up and my feet are killing me. Well, that's just plain silly. I never heard of anything so ridiculous. I have. You have what? You and a kilt playing the bagpipe. Oh, shut up. You're just jealous. (gasps) You're going to play? a bagpipe? Yes. Oh, saints preserve us. Don't count on them helping. They've done their penance. I didn't know you played the pipes. He does, and he's going to take lessons. From who? Professor McPherson. You don't say. Yes, and I will be marching with the Mayhem McCaddits Pipe and Drum Band in the 4th of July parade. And as soon as he knows the date for the parade, he'll let us know. I'll let you know. Well, Gibble, all I can say is good luck to you. The pipes are a wonderful instrument. Thank you. In the right hands. In the wrong hands, they sound like files on the brain. Well, I will be a pip of a piper. I'll be the best piper that ever piped a pipe. Anyway, folks, remember tickets for the policeman's ball are on sale now. Where can people get tickets? Oh, from me! I have them on me at all times. I have about 50 on me right now. The only time I can't sell them is when I'm fighting crooks or something like that. Which never happens. Which never happens. Oh, the gibber, shut up! So there you have it, folks. If you want to go to the policeman's ball on April 10th, see Officer O'Grady and he'll sell you a ticket. Aloha! Oh, no. Aloha! What is that noise I hear? Sounds like the dulcet tones of the parsnip palooka of Pineapple Lane. Oh, hello, Officer O'Grady. <laughs> Miss Parsnip. I hear you're having your policeman's ball on April 10th. Word sure do get around. Yes, April 10th. I should like to purchase a ticket. Ooh, and we will dance the night away. Hello, good luck to you. Oh, bye oh. your ticket to dance with you. Um, uh, we'll, uh, Go ahead, O'Grady. Give the light little nightingale a ticket. Oh, look, I don't seem to have any on me at the moment. Oh, what a pity. Oh, oh. you don't. No, oh, what a shame. But you just said you had 50. I'll go to the printers right now and get some made up. We don't have a printer in mayhem. I know. I I used the one in Mobile, Alabama. I'll be back in a few weeks. Odd man. Parsnip, is that why you were here to get tickets to some stupid ball? Not only that, I wanted to know when you were planning on having the South Sea Island girls on your show. I don't think I heard the question. She wanted to know when... Jake, I heard what she said! Oh, but you said... Ah, shut up! I await your answer. Parsnip, the South Sea Island girls juggling coconuts does not work on the radio! People need to use their imagination. Like this show. And we are asking them to use a lot of imagination. Imagination. Westbrook, go do something. Like what? Eat some haggis. Pass. Haggis? Did you say haggis? Yes. I didn't know you liked haggis. Why, I shall have to make you my secret recipe. My great-grandfather Harold Parsnip's honey ham haggis with sheep gut accents. Oh, it was... Hey, get out of here! Don't Scottish people eat any normal food? Oh, yes, I suppose they do, but it isn't fun to me. Okay, I've had enough of this. I gotta go over and pick up my bagpipes and then I'm going home. Bagpipes? Did you say bagpipes? Yeah, yes. You are going to play bagpipes? Yeah, yes. Earplugs, I must get some earplugs! Well, at least she's gone. Now I'm gonna go get my pipes. If I go with you, can you drop me off in my house afterwards? Okay. I had no idea bagpipes were so expensive. They sure are. Where are they? In the back seat. I mean, in the back where the seat's supposed to go. 
Oh, I can't wait to get started. I wonder how long it will take you to learn how to play. I have no idea. I would guess at least a couple of hours. Can we go a little faster? What? We're only going 10 miles an hour. Can we go a little faster? There's a TV show on I really want to see, and it starts soon. I'm going as fast as I can. See? The pedal is right down to the floor. Dibble, there isn't any floor under the pedal. I thought there was a draft down there. Hey, watch where you're going! Boy, some people just drive too fast. Yeah, you must have been going at least 20. Don't make fun of me. Dibble, covered wagons in the Oregon Trail went faster than this. I feel like I'm driving in the Mr. Bucky Mobile. Jake, you're being in the back seat. Hold on! Gee, wait, who was driving that car? Did you get that plate number? I think it was Mr. Bucky. Wow, any faster and the paint on my car would come off. Dibble, you don't have any paint on your car. It's all rusty tin or whatever it's made of. I was using a figure of speech. Why do I ride in this car? Why do I subject myself to the possibility of instant death? Because you're too cheap to take the bus. Oh yeah, I forgot. The new Dibble Show will return in just a few moments. <laughs>